Hello friends, welcome back to Tech Greens. So in this edition of Hadoop scenario based questions, today we'll check about a scenario based question which is in the context of concurrent, uh, concurrent read and writes in the Hadoop. So suppose if uh, there is one client who's trying to uh, say write one file on to the Hadoop HDFS uh, file system and at the same time another client tries to read the same file what would happen what could be the different scenarios and what would be the exact behavior of hdfs that we'll see in this particular question so guys let's start so uh, the question is uh, the scenario based question that we have today is suppose uh, that we have a client one uh, so which is trying to write or upload a file of say 500 mb into hdfs and uh, while the client two uh, comes into the picture and tries to read the same data 100 MB of the data is already successfully uploaded or written into the HDFS then the question arises what will happen in such scenario well uh, this 100 MB of data which is already successfully uploaded into HDFS would it be available for display or uh, read uh, by the client 2 as requested so uh, you're trying to see it's, it's a concurrent situation where the write is happening. We're trying to write the 100 MB of file into HDFS. And at the same time, client two is trying to read that file. So what will happen in, in this situation? So uh, let's try to solve this particular question. Uh, we know the default block size is 64 MB in Hadoop 1 and 128 MB in Hadoop 2. We have find fine we are aware of that but for just for the sake of uh, uh, simplicity of calculation let's assume the block size is 100 MB for this particular scenario that will not uh, doesn't change uh, the answer or behavior of this particular question so uh, if you have a 100 MB block size uh, this means now for a 500 MB file we would have we would have five blocks right uh, which client one is trying to write right and at the same time, obviously, with the replication factor of three, uh, it, that each block would be replicated three times. So now let's try to see it with an example. How does the individual blocks would be written into the HDFS, right? So we'd have five blocks. Let's name those blocks as A, B, C, D uh, for a file, which client one is trying to write. So when it will try to write uh, this 100 MB of data, Client one uh, will contact the name node, right? And uh, it will request for the uh, data node locations to store the first block. We, the first block is A, it will um, store 100 MB of data. So name node will return the client one uh, with the details of uh, three data nodes if replication factor is three. And then out of those three data nodes client one will directly reach out to one of the data nodes right uh, based on the data locality whichever is the nearest data node and will start copying the block a right this is the first block of 100 mb which uh, client is trying to write and it would be uh, simultaneously replicated to two other data nodes as well what we call as data pipelining we have discussed in the earlier videos so now the client one is directly writing 100 mb of block a onto the hdfs once he has got the information about the data nodes from the name node so once the this one this first block block a is uh, written uh, the data is copied and it is also replicated to the data nodes then client will give the confirmation uh, back to the name node that I have already written successfully completed the write or uploading of the block A and then it will uh, request the same process for block B right so now this 100 MB of data in block A is successfully written and acknowledgement is also sent to the name node now when the uh, client 2 comes in and tries to read the you know tries to read uh, the same data which uh, client one is trying to write so this 100 mb which is successfully uh, uploaded and the knowledge is already shared with name node would be visible to the reader 
because this this uh, first block is successfully completed then this first block of 100 mb would be visible to the reader and uh, the next block which is uh, still uh, under writing block p that would not be written that would not be visible and that will not be available for the read but in spite we had the first say we had the full file or full data of 500 mb only the partial 100 mbs are successfully written and if the client 2 comes and try to read uh, the same file in between concurrently that is possible for the successfully written blocks right the, so the, the the underlying theme is if a particular block is successfully written and replicated and the acknowledgement is already with name node that particular block data would be available for the simultaneous or concurrent read so guys that's it in this particular video have a good day. Bye-bye.